Hello everyone and welcome back to more Battle Frontier Elite action on the channel. So today we're here versus Nightfront. We are currently sitting at 2-1 in the Draft League. If you guys missed the past videos or the past battles and you want to check them out, uh, playlist, list, playlist link will be in the description down below. But of course you guys are going to be seeing both ends of uh, both teams, full teams on the screen right now. Uh, I'm pretty much on par with what I was expecting from my opponent here, so it should be a pretty good match. Of course, two and, sitting at 2-1, getting to 3-1 would be really, really nice for us. Put us in a really good spot heading into the two final weeks of the season. Just take a little pressure off, you know? I don't know. I feel like in Pokemon, if you can take pressure off games, it just makes games a little bit easier, you know? Like, you're thinking, you're more, like, pressure clogs your thinking, like, or fogs it. So you get rid of the pressure, it's one less thing you have to worry about and just allows you to focus a little more. So getting rid of pressure would be phenomenal. But of course, not the end of the world if we do take an L. So no pressure on this one. And uh, let's see. I think Wigglytuff still goes crazy here. I was fully expecting like Illumis, Moltres slash Kingdra stuff, probably Rain Dance or Sunny Day. One of the two, maybe both. I doubt both though, because I feel like there's better options. Uh, Torkoal is phenomenal if I can get Trick Room up. Tough to go Executor immediately. Let me lock in real quick before I time out, and uh, we'll go with that. But uh, kind of just going off memory there of what I of what I prep for there with the Gyarados Wigglytuff lead because I think it puts on a lot of pressure because no one really expects. I don't think anyone actually expects. You know, like I feel like Rhyperior doesn't want to be here. You know, no one actually expects Wigglytuff to do anything. Gyarados is in a very phenomenal spot because they can't really intimidate because of the competitive. So, we're, we're chilling. Red Dice is a little concerning because I really don't know what they want to go for. Of course, I am going to get the free Dragon Dance here, I think. Now, the question is, do I think they're going to be switching out right here? Or do I think they're going to stay in and just try to take advantage of, hey, I'm, I'm going to expect them to switch out? I think they might be in. Uh, they might, willing, might be willing to stay in here. So, I actually am going to Grass Knot here into this right here. If I can get big damage into it, that is phenomenal. So that's the game plan. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Should be a relatively free Dragon Dance. Red Dice doesn't do a whole lot of damage. They are minus one. Oh, they were clear body, so never mind. Actually, they can't be clear body. They are minus one. So if they're going to explode, it's not going to be killing anything here. Thunderbolt. That's fine. I'm calc to live that. Yep. I'm Calc to live that. It doesn't matter. I'm Calc to live that. But uh, that is still a lot of damage that you don't want to be taking. So now at this point, I've scared the Rhyperior. So with that, I'm going to go for the damage into the Red Dice here. I believe a Flamethrower plus, plus a Waterfall at plus one should take it down. So that's the game plan. Icy Wind is fine. I'm not overly concerned. The Red Dice is actually the fastest thing on the field anyways. If this becomes Rock Record, I'm going to scream. I'm a super bulky league. That's gotta be... That's doing a lot of damage with that red dice. I'm actually scared. Now, they actually boosted me though, which is nice. Rocks? Rocks. Okay, so they're going Icy Wind into flinches. That is what it is. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Come on, we... <laughs> that one bothers me, and... Alright, I'm still faster here. So I still get a free hit on something. I think I take the Rhyperior. Uh... See, I could go for the flinch on Red Dice, but I think if I hit the Rhyperior here, we're good. And I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. Like, if I get a... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Perfect. Okay. So, I don't think Rhyperior gets sturdy. Yeah, it does get sturdy. Never mind. Forgot... Uh, no, it's, so it's Focus Sash. I was about to say. It doesn't get sturdy. Anyway, Red Dice goes for Thunderbolt. They're actually going to hit the Wigglytuff. So, Rock Slide finishes off here. Now, if I can get a move off... If I can get a move off here, this is actually really, really good. This is phenomenal if I can get the move going. Okay, Flamethrower at plus two into Red Dice. Not going to kill because Red Dice's special defense is just too good. Did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing. So I, I bring in Executor now, and it basically comes down to, did I make Executor bulky enough to be able to take a combination and get Trick Room up? Because if that's the case and I do get Trick Room up, I think it's just game. Like... It's not game over, but getting Trick Room up puts me in a very, very good spot. So I go for it, and I try to protect if I can. No real reason to lose the Wigglytuff yet. I'm not huge about how this game's gone. That flinch on Wigglytuff that earlier turn was huge, but Icy Wind is fine. 
Uh, is Rhyperior- I don't know if Rhyperior still gets Megahorn. I feel like I checked this in prep. That Icy Wind does so much damage. And it's a crit. Alright, cool. So, for those of you who don't know, myself and Nightfront Army, I mean, we both feel like we're, we're pretty unlucky players. So seeing all the hacks fly around is, is generally, generally what I'd expect here. Eggy, please. Eggs. Eggs, I need you one time here. Okay. Trick Room's up. They've been icy winding. We're now in room, and now we're good to go. Not... And we get Harvest. Okay. So we're not in a phenomenal spot. Like, it's not, like, the best thing in the world for us right now. But I am going to Giga Drain to Reg Ice for some chip, because a Dazzling Gleam at this point will take out their Hyperior. They are Focus Sash, so see if we can pull this back with the room. Giga Drain should hopefully bring me enough to a spot to live an Ice move. They might also only have Icy Wind as their Ice move, which is really nice. Dazzling Gleam at plus, still, still, at plus 2, still doing good damage here. Reg is, of course, going to take. It is bulky, like I mentioned earlier, but that is okay depending on what they do. Thunderbolt's fine. Okay, we are now in Trick Room with exactly what we wanted. Three turns left the room. I've got a Torkoal still on the field. I have Executor Torkoal, Rhyperior is gone. Moltres comes in. Okay. Not the best case in the world, but Eruption Psyshock does massive damage to this Moltres, and I don't know what their last mod is, so. Moltres should protect this turn. I mean, I would protect this turn, but Red Ice goes down here. Torkoal's good. So, Moltres is going to protect. Yep, that's fine. Couldn't do anything there. If I had something like Calm Mind, maybe I could have, but... The question becomes, what's their last Pokemon? Torkoal is going to take that Red Dice here. Is the last Pokemon something that can actually get shredded by these two in Trick Room? If not, then we're in trouble. But if they can't, it's Hitmontop. Okay. So the question becomes, where's the fake out go? And are, do they have wide guard? I think seeing Torkoal from my point, I'm going to click Psyshock into the Hitmon top and click Eruption here. Executor doesn't appreciate, actually do I have Protect? I don't want to Protect on the eggs, but I may have to. Because like keeping them on the field for an extra turn is super important, but at the same time, I feel like they're more likely to fake out Torkoal, because Torkoal is getting big damage. So if they go for that, I mean... Do I take the side shock damage, or do I I think I'm going to protect to keep the piece on the field. And obviously I can't protect here, so I'll erupt. Because, like, they should go fire move into eggs here. The fake out should go into Torkoal, I presume. Yep. And they should fire move into eggs, whether it's a heat wave or not. Just keeping it on the field right now is decent. Moltres about to shred me though. <laughs> Moltres about to shred me though. Um, I think I double hit on top here. I think Moltres could protect. I don't think it's super likely, but I'm also gonna go for a flamethrower. I want to make sure this hit on top goes down. And they could always helping hand. So they're gonna helping hand heat wave here. That's a good play. Unfortunately, we're not gonna see any sort of damage into this Moltres this turn. But dodging could come in clutch. But side shock from the eggs. It's gonna be. Pyapa Berry, I believe that's the correct berry. Don't quote me on that, we'll see in a minute anyways. But Pyapa Berry is going to keep the Hitmon top alive, and I think that's going to wrap this one up. Executor is going to dodge the Heat Wave. I am going to lose Torkoal, but it's not enough now. Oh, I don't lose Torkoal. Okay, Dimensions are returning to normal. I am going to... How many turns of Sun? I believe there's one turn left... Uh, uh, two turns left of Sun, so... Either way here, I need to dodge, right? So I need to get Trick Room up and dodge. That That's really it for me. And I'll Heat Wave in case, because it doesn't look like they're going to have Wide Guard here. But they're going to probably just Close Combat Torkoal and make this a 3v1. Faint works too. Same concept. Moltres goes Heat Wave, does double connect, um, uh, does single attack, so does regularly just connect, and that's going to take that game for sure. So a little unlucky in the early game, kind of let us... Falter a little bit. Need to preserve Gyarados a little bit better. I know I was going to live that Thunderbolt, but I think I was surprised by that Red Ice damage for sure. Let's keep things going. We're going to get into game two here. Uh, now, how the question is, how do I want to adapt? 
right? Because I could lead to Pachirisu now as the adaptation, right? Like Pachirisu Gyarados is good, right? They don't get discharged. I get the problem is if I do that and I try to Dragon Dance, they're just going to start Icy Winding. And that's not ideal for me. I still think I want to get Trick Room up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the eggs. I'm actually going to go eggs and Snorlax. I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm going to bring the Gyarados in the back. And I still want Torkoal. As good as Wigglytuff is at shredding things on their team and putting on pressure, I, I do think having Torkoal... Although giving them the sun is arguably worse for me. So maybe I do go Wigglytuff. But like I do not have that many answers to Moltres. And I knew that in prep. And I figured I'd be okay and be able to play around and position it. But that was... Uh, they played that well. Um, question is Wiggly or Torkoal? Because I definitely want the other three here. Now, Wigglytuff is really only coming. Now, I'm going to bring Torkoal again, I think. Like, if I get Trick Room up, that's got to be the way I play this. If I get Trick Room up, Torkoal is so much more valuable than Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff, I, I love you, but yeah, okay. A little... A little bit less fortunate than I would have liked here. Not exactly the play. Not exactly how I wanted this to go, but... Right, especially because they're going to potentially have Encore. I don't... They don't get Taunt. I am going to just Trick Room. I'm calc to live anything this Kingdra can go for, even in rain right now. Only thing I can't do is concerned about it. I didn't really calc for fake tears. So, little concerning, but I am going to curse up. I don't know, I, I think, I guess they don't really need to, they're just going to straight up Draco. I should live this, like I said, I calc for it, so I'm not dying. Even if they are specs, I shouldn't be dying. Yep, beautiful executor eats it, going to get my citrus berry. Now the question is, what does Illumis want to do? Citrus berry is here now. This isn't the greatest spot because Illumis wants to click... Encore on the following turn, right? We know they're gonna do that. Struggle Bug is cool. That does kill me, I think. Nope, Executor, good. Okay. Now the question is, do they have Encore? And if they have Encore, who are they hitting? Because I feel like the, the Encore should be going into Snorlax. Because Executor doesn't, they don't want to Encore my, my eggs to reverse Trick Room here because they, I, I don't know, I just think that's too obvious from their end if they Encore eggs. You know, I just think it's too obvious. So maybe I should have just attacked with Snorlax. That, by the way, that was Life Orb Kingdra. I don't know why I didn't uh, mention that earlier, but... I, I really do think they're going to hit the Snorlax here, especially after that Struggle Bug. Executor is not a threat. So I'm going to hard pivot into Gyarados right now. It's not the best turn in the world. They did, and I'll try to facade. If I can facade the, the Kingdra, it's probably for the better. And we'll, cut, and we'll go from there. Yo, Mental Herb Snorlax would have been clutch right here, though. Don't, don't, I, I was never actually going to bring that. I was never considering that whatsoever. Uh, well prepped, though, so far. And well played by uh, Knife Run. Yep, there's the Encore. And like I said, correctly into Snorlax. I, I should have seen that coming, but at this point, the Kingdra's minus two. So, I'm going to get the chance to get rid of this Illumise eventually, you know? Kingdra staying in here doesn't really concern me. What are they going to click? Draco? Again, they're already minus two. They can only do so much damage here. Probably still does around half. Okay. Gyarados took that very, very well. Like I said, Kingdra's not a threat right now, so I waterfall. The question is, what am I hitting? I've got to take this Illumise down. Obviously, I can't Dragon Dance because they'll just prank their Encore that, and I have to go Cursed again. And I'm okay clicking Curse. I'm not overly mad about it. They're going to switch out to Illumi. Is that I'm okay with Rhyperior? Red Dice. Okay. That's okay. I think they want me to kill Kingdra right here, right? They want me to take the Kingdra so they can get the Illumi's back on the field. So they can get another Encore back up. Right? And I respect that. I think it is a good play. But right now, Snorlax is about to go burr if I can... E oh, Clear Smog. That's a really good play. Clear Smog Kingdra was definitely not something I prepped for. I think they did more damage to themselves than they did to me, but it's a good, still a solid play for them. Red Dice does not appreciate that attack. Uh, with this Kingdra being so low, I'm going to pivot Torkoal in right now. And I could pivot both. But I think I'm, I'm going to stay in the field and curse this turn. Once again, if you stay in and clear Smog, yeah, you're going to switch. Illumise should come back in on the field here. Yep. And now I'm actually in a decent spot because I've got Torkoal in front of these two. 
which is really really nice obviously they're gonna try and encore my Snorlax again or maybe protect to get out of this but I don't mind this position depending on what red dice does here I'm assuming it's just a Thunderbolt into what was the Gyarados slot I don't really see a reason for them to do anything differently sub okay Cool play. So their Icy Wind Substitute Thunderbolt. Uh, Encore ends. Now the thing is, I could say, hey, I, I really do think you're going to re-Encore me here. I am going to Erupt anyways. I, I think Eruption is still solid here. And the question is, are you going to re-Encore me? Because if you don't Encore me, I get damage into this Red Dice right now and actually put on a lot of pressure. But if you're going to Encore me, I have to switch back into Executor here, but if they- that's easy to call, right? I think I'm gonna try and stay in and break this sub. I've got the curse up, so I'm slower than- yeah, they're gonna go for it. <laughs> they're gonna go for it. I think that was their play every time, like, correct for them. Every single time there. Snorlax's gonna curse. Should a hard switch, but I think Ice Beam's coming into this slot too. Or something that's gonna actually pressure- I think they're more likely to pressure this slot. If I get this call wrong, it's on me for overthinking things. But Torkoal's gonna get the eruption off. Should kill the Illumis. Drop the Red Ice. Or drop the Red Ice is sub, sorry, excuse me. And Illumis is gone right now, so I am still setting up with Lax, which isn't terrible. But trying to find a spot to get Trick Room back up is gonna be really, really rough. Thunderbolt could have brought Iggy in right there. Would have had the berry on. And they get the pair. Okay, not completely out there yet. Not completely out of it yet. Trick Room is over. Kingdra comes back in. We are in the sun. So they're going to go after Torkoal here. That's a given. Right? You just double Torkoal. And I think because of that, I'm going to hard switch into uh, Gyarados for that slot. And I'm going to try and switch. <laughs> the thing is, I still don't want to switch Lax. You know? I still don't... I, I, you know what? I'm going to stay in and curse again. Because, like... Ideally, Gyarados goes down, right? Gyarados goes down. It's not the end of the world. I don't think they're going to go after Snorlax here. I don't really see a reason for them to right now. They should be more scared of the, the Torkoal. That's actually going to kill the Regice. Kingdra's going to drop a Draco into that Gyarados. No drop this time, so I should probably die. Yep. I do die. I'm okay with that because it allows me to now probably get Trick Room up in, a, in two turns time. Doesn't matter what you click here. Click substitute. I'm not concerned. I'm not like in the best spot. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not super happy to be in the position I'm in, right? Because they're going to just clear smock here. I'm going to protect with executor to get my citrus berry. And it basically comes down to, once again, it's going to come down to how bulky is, how bulky is executor. I protect here to get the citrus berry. I eat that. And, uh, I pray. <laughs> I protect, and I believe I'm still encored. I will attack just in case I'm not. Okay, I am indeed still encored, and I'm going to curse again. No reason for me to switch just yet. I don't want to see that Torkoal take too much more damage here. Draco Meteor does go into that protect, which is beautiful. And I don't know if I can take it, but I'm guaranteed to get my berry back this turn, I believe. So I, uh, well, not really enough. I don't think it's going to be enough to allow Executor to actually do anything. So I'm going to have to play this smartly here. Because they can still double Executor, right? We know Icy Wind isn't going to be taking me out. But any all you need to do is simply double that slot and Executor will go down. Right? It's not one of those things where I'm going to get the double berry. I get that Citrus Berry, which is cool. Right now the question is, are they comfortable going for the Icy Wind Calc? Which I don't think they should be. So I'm going to go back into Torkoal. I know I'm sacking a win condition here, but having Executor for the late game is more important. And I go fi uh, Facade into Kingdra here. Get rid of this thing before it can clear smog me. And if it does clear smog me here, I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering the Icy Wind damage, but I don't know if I'd really rely on Icy Wind. Draco Meteor coming on out. Yeah, okay. Didn't think they were going to rely on Icy Wind here. Draco, Torkoal's not going to like this. Torkoal does take it though, which is nice. Don't know if I'm going to be able to capitalize on that, but for the time being, I am alive. 
Icy Wind is cool. I shouldn't be dying with either mod. I'm pretty sure Torkoal can tank that Icy Wind. I lied. Torkoal cannot tank that Icy Wind. Um, <laughs> good news, Facade takes out Kingdra. We're going to see your last mod, which I'm assuming is Moltres. Moltres legitimately shreds this team. So here's the Facade coming on out. Going to kill Kingdra. Beautiful. And I don't, like I said, this isn't the best position for me. With the sunlight fading, though, Moltres doesn't do a whole lot here. And Executor. Now, I think I'm plus three with this Snorlax. And the question basically becomes, do they expect me to protect Executor? I think they will. They know I'm a pretty defensive player. I'm going to try and Trick Room. If they take Executor in exchange for Moltres, I don't care. Snorlax at this point can effectively still win this game. That's fine. They give me Trick Room. Beautiful. Uh, only if Icy Wind doesn't kill. Let me rephrase that. Thunderbolt. Perfect. Yeah, they, they went all in on the fact that I'd protect. I had no reason to protect there. I get this Trick Room up. And I get my Berry. And I believe this is more than enough for me to take this game. Facade, of course, goes into you. And I get my Trick Room. So basically what I'm saying there is I'm either going to kill your Moltres with that plus three facade and I'm not going to get Trick Room or I'm going to get Trick Room and I'm going to still have my Snorlax on the field, you know? Uh, now I can just simply, I'm going to Giga Drain, I believe Psyshock hits the Red Dice more, so I'm going to Psyshock to break the sub over there, actually, doubling, doubling Moltres is the better play. <laughs> going to double Psyshock just in case this facade doesn't kill and they're like a really bulky Moltres or something. Battle was cancelled. Okay, beautiful. So game two goes to us here. And uh, let's get to game three. Game two alone going to us is absolutely massive. Because what it means is it, it, it's better for the standings. It's not nothing really crazy, but losing 2-1 is, <laughs> is better than losing 2-0. So let's not worry about losing here. I think our matchup is good as long as we're playing it properly. Like, yeah, they encored Snorlax, but they never put pressure onto it. I got to a spot where I got rid of the Elamese, and then they had a Snorlax to deal with, you know? So... I'm gonna have to play this once again very smartly. I'm gonna lead Lax again. I think leading Lax is phenomenal. Now the question is, how do I want to get through the Kingdra Illumis? Because I feel like they hid a lot of things. Like I feel like they hid the fact that they can potentially helping hand and drop me. You know? I, I feel like that's a spot where almost I could get away with Pachirisu, you know? But I don't, uh, at the same time, I don't know if it's great. I'm actually gonna go Gyarados Lax and keep my Trick Room mode for later on in the game. And I still want Torkoal. I think these are still the correct four. I tried to catch them off guard with the Wigglytuff in that game one, which would have been clutch, but... Got flinched that one turn, but we saw how much the Flamethrower did. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, Red Dice Illumines. Okay. Like I said, I'm still here thinking there is some sort of... I don't know. Just part of me really thinks there's some sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Fake tears on this Illumines here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start targeting the Illumis here early. And I'm just going to protect this turn. I don't think you're going to go after Lax. I think you're more likely to fake tears and drop this Gyarados. I can switch it out next turn. I'm not really concerned. Struggle Bug is fine. Honestly surprised it was a Struggle Bug. Maybe they were calling it an early Executor switch. But. Or there's no fake tears. And Thunderbolt. Okay. So they were trying to definitely catch that Executor on switching. I wasn't going to do that right there. And I'm going to facade. Yo, imagine if I had Mental Herb Gyarados for this, though. <laughs> I, that would have been flames. But unfortunately, I do not have that. So I'm going to facade again. Let's start getting rid of this Illumisi, Illumis here. And the thing is, I think they're going to Encore this slot. I'm going to get greedy, and I'm going to Waterfall. I know Gyarados is huge in this game, but I'm also thinking I'm okay if Illumis just goes down. And I think, once again... They might try to double in and call the Executor switch, so. Let's go. <laughs> like, I, once again, they might try to call that Executor switch. They're going to be Barry, which is okay. But now I actually have a Gyarados on the field, which is actually doing a little bit of damage. Obviously, I think I died to Struggle Book Thunderbolt, but. Right, so there's no harm for them calling that Struggle Book, you know? There was no harm for them calling that switch there. It was arguably a perfectly fine play. Uh, I might actually tank this, depending on that Regice spread. Because that Struggle Bug did nothing. And I'm bulky enough to live this, so I don't. Two high rolls, I'm presuming, with that uh, with that Thunderbolt? Because I'm guaranteed to live that, unless you're like Expert Belt. Because we don't know, right? If you're Expert Belt, then, then it may not be two high rolls. So, I go with the eggs here, for sure. 
And the question is, do I live a struggle bug icy win? If I survive a struggle bug icy win and get trick room up, the game is, uh, I don't want to say the game's over, but the game's in a good spot. I go facade again into the Illumis and I go trick room. I have to get the room up here. There's, there's no other way to look at it. Struggle bug comes out. Uh, this will be really, really close if the icy wind kills me or not. I want to say it doesn't, but we'll see. Uh, they're going to sub. Perfect. So they're going to give me the trick room. Okay. That's nice. The sod is coming off. Going to connect into this Illumise. It does not pick it up. It doesn't need to. And trick room. Once again, we know they have Encore. I'm going to make the switch out here. There's no reason for me not to bring in... <sighs> no reason for me not to hard switch into Torkoal right now. I still think I take out the Illumise. I wanted to break the Regice's sub, but it's too important for me to get Torkoal in cleanly. And I also may not break the Regice's sub without setting up, so let's get Torkoal in. Although, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a misplay. This may not be great. It's easy to call, but this also dodges some sort of struggle bug. They could also rain dance here. There it is, the fake tears. I knew they had it. I knew they had it. I've been sitting here the entire time calling fake tears. Uh, very smart play with that. I respect it. Uh, Illumise goes down. I'm going to be switching out Snorlax next turn. I need to reset that. There's no way I'm ever considering staying on the field with that. Uh, Thunderbolt, of course, not going to do crazy damage. It's still just a red dice, you know? Like, at the end of the day, it's, you're still a red dice, bro. <laughs> like, I know you do damage because you're doing super effective stuff, but... Uh, they're going to bring in Moltres right now. I'm going to click Eruption. Obviously, Moltres just take, takes about 50% from the Eruption. I know I'm going to lose Executor here, but Executor has done what it needed to do, and that's put me in a spot where, where Eruption can do damage, right? And I'm in a spot where Eruption can do damage, and Snorlax can be potentially enabled here in the endgame. So I'm not upset with this position quite yet. We'll see. I think this is still definitely pivotable. Torkoal does get a free eruption up here. Should do about 50% to this Moltres. Yeah, just under. Probably closer to 40, but still good damage. It has some bulk investment. That's fine. Uh, Thunderbolt from this uh, Red Dice. Gotta chip this Torkoal down. That's 100% what they're gonna go for there. And Heat Wave is gonna drop my Executor, but that just lets. Uh, that puts me in a decent position to start calm mind, uh, calm mind, cursing, excuse me. Um, okay, here's the thing. We've got two turns left to Trick Room. The question is, are they going to protect Moltres, or are they going to let me potentially get a Heat Wave Facade into it? Obviously, I don't have Eruption anymore. Red Dice actually takes the hit here. So I'm actually going to curse. And I think I'm going to single target Flamethrower. I think it is the best play for me to drop Red Dice right now. I can recycle my berry as well, so it's not like I'm in the end of the world. I think killing Regice here is way more important. It actually is going to hang on with a sliver of HP, so I'm pretty confident that's a roll. <laughs> Why is it got to live on literally one? Why is it got to live on literally one? We get the drop in the boost here, which isn't terrible, but Heatwave unfortunately takes out... Uh, actually, Thunderbolt's going to take out Torkoal. And now this is where having Rock Slide here instead of High Horsepower would be clutch. And Heat Wave's going to do a lot of damage. Way too much for me to actually try and potentially... Uh, there is one turn left to Trick Room and now I'm in a problem. And now I have a problem, right? I can try and... I, I have to dodge. I have to get the berry back. I don't win this game unless I have a berry here. So I have to get the berry back. Okay, that's good. Like I said, I don't win the game unless I get the berry back. So the berry's got to come back. If I can get rid of the sun, this also isn't terrible. Found my figgy berry, eat the figgy berry, let's go. That red dice living really, really hurts. Thunderbolt again, that's fine, I'll take my... I need sun to end. Sun doesn't end, so I'm gonna need to dodge. I need my berry. There, there's no other way to put this is that I need my berry, but... Not gonna dodge there, so... Unfortunately, I think Lax dies, yeah. My own fault. Got swept by Moltres, it is what it is. I mean, arguably speaking, that game one I think goes a whole lot different if I don't flinch on Wigglytuff. And I think there was another bit of hacks in there as well, but it is what it is. I, I mean, Nightfront played well, I'm not going to argue that. Uh, can't can't argue that, they played well, they got the W. I mean, well prepped, well played, nothing to it. Could have probably played better on my end as well. So with that guys, we are going to fall back down to 2-2 two and two here. 
But uh, I think we're still looking good for a playoffs. Schedule upcoming is okay. But uh, with that, I will uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode, and I will uh, next episode. I don't know. I have no outro, guys. You guys know I have no outro. I will catch you guys next week for some more Battle Frontier Elite action.